what is up guys it is q here i am whoop whoop outside right now it is great um i guess like you could call this outdoor edition with mod life <laughs> my god my hair looks like shit right now oh uh, what the fuck ever we're dudes well, you know well unless you're a chick watching this which is really cool because girls don't really watch videos like this anyways I finished my pre-order for Battlefield 4. That is great freaking news because if you pre-order a console, that should mean a lot because for all you know, you're going to be playing that damn thing for about freaking the next 10 years. So also along with that, I pre-ordered Battlefield 4. Now I do not know the Battlefield 4 pre-order bonuses. But I need to figure that shit out as soon as possible because that is going to be freaking awesome if there is. Um, I don't know, you know, like, you know, girls make like, you know, like fan made YouTube videos like, oh, this is, look at my Gucci bag, it's a review, or this is what I'm going to get when this new uh, freaking dress comes out. I don't fucking know. You know, it's kind of like that, but in a gaming way. So let me be a fangirl and let me tell you my PSN name will probably be General Quintus. Now, if you guys have any other suggestions, just let me know in the comment section below. I know it's kind of lame, but hey, I like it, you know? So, <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys know about the console war, but that's not the only war going on these days. Now, there's something else called the Battlefield 4 vs. the uh, Call of Duty Ghosts War. So, let's talk about that for a little bit. I got some new intel about Call of Duty Ghosts because I saw the multiplayer uh, reveal, which is surprising. Like, let me talk to you guys about this for a second. Black Ops 2, I like the campaign, don't get me wrong. We got Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. And we got Battlefield 4 and freaking, like, Warfighter wasn't that good to me. But Battlefield, like, I don't know. You guys got to think about content value. To me, to me, if you can have a map that's, like, four times as big as a Call of Duty map in a freaking war game, or, like, you're freaking, I don't know, this is just a thing I like. I think a bug just crawled up my pants. Okay, that's awkward. Here's one thing else I like. Like when your freaking dudes like have like, um, uh, like freaking dialogue when they're doing stuff such as dropping ammo. Like the little details that make up an army game to make you feel like you're actually in there. That, that's why I love Battlefield so much in the, from the start. And it seems like Call of Duty kind of slacked down a bit, you know, with this kind of repetitiveness in gameplay and stuff. Which is why I'm glad that Battlefield 4 kind of takes it easy you know every, every like two years kind of like what infinity ward used to do and shit but um yeah I, i'm glad but i don't know this year i actually think that battlefield 4 and call of duty ghosts are gonna have some competition so let me tell you guys why um call of duty ghosts um campaign you, well, here's the bad side of Call of Duty Ghosts. You have to play the campaign to unlock guns and shit. So, no matter how many hours you play uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, it doesn't really matter. You're not really going to unlock anything, which is kind of disappointing because I like playing the game and being a fucking beast when I first play, like the first time play uh, through like a game and get like freaking 20 kills in a round. And unlock like 18 different stuff. It makes you feel like a badass. It makes you, you feel like you're going to do something important in your life. Like go to college or, or raise a kid or have a girlfriend. Something along those lines. Anyways. Um, but it still looks good. When they finally say, look, we're going to be doing something. We're going to enhance the graphics. They actually meant it this time. Unlike the last few fucking call of duty games okay all the physics are changed it's kind of up to date like battlefield now believe it or not you guys got to check out the call of duty multiplayer review i might put it in the description below if i remember i always say oh I'll put something in the description if i remember but then i fucking forget 
So yeah, um, you guys got to get informed about that. Tell me in the comment section below if you're thinking about getting a next-gen console or if you're just staying current, because I think they're coming out for both current-gen and next-gen. Are you getting Call of Duty Ghosts or are you getting Battlefield 4? Why, Quentin? Why are you getting Battlefield 4? I always thought Battlefield 4 had this certain taste to it. Like, I'm actually a freaking warrior, you know? Large span of maps. You get to join squads, spawn on people. Like, you have just huge maps. And all these, like, your map looks all coordinated and shit. And you'd be like, okay, guys, let's go here to A. You know, it's like a large map to, like, plan out bunches of, like, awesome, realistic strategy. That's why I like Battlefield. And also because... Oh, get away, man. Also because I like the freaking uh, destruction thing. So, like, if, I, if a tank shot a freaking house, the house would obviously not be there. But that's how Call of Duty Ghosts is going to be. If you see the reveal thing, there's going to be, like, damage things going on. Like, cars will fall on you if it's above you. Freaking building um, light chandelier thingies will fall or explode on you. I just can't wait. I just can't wait. I'm going to probably play both and give out reviews for it if I have the time, you know. But, uh, yeah, it really helps me as a YouTuber. If you guys like, share, and subscribe. Um, I, I, can't, I can't tell you more than that. You know, if you want to see videos more like this, just let me know. And uh, I finally got this laptop. Woo! So I can finally record in my room with all the posters and shit. So sorry about this terrible background you see here. But uh, yeah, it'll get better. I'm slowly progressing through this whole YouTube thing. Getting better as we go. But um, thank you to the subscribers that are already here. Thank you, uh, Gamer Title, for getting me started. You know, thank you a lot. I think this is my 72nd or 73rd video in the past nine months that's pretty freaking good because you see all these famous youtubers and shit they ha they've been around for about like four or five years but they only had like you know like a hundred or a hundred videos you know what i mean so it's just good to you know have a lot of content for those who are new and want to check it out i'm rambling on i'm cute for my life i'll check you guys out later